guys, welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm calling it the redemption piece. Now, the piece behind me is one that I refinished about, I don't know, three, four, five months ago. And I absolutely hate the finish on it. I, it drives me nuts. I cannot bear to look at this and it's not selling. So I'm gonna give it a whole new makeover sand it down and repaint it and truly give it the love that it deserves. And sometimes when you do this, you really gotta call your own crap out. I did a horrible job on this. So let's truly give this the finish it deserves. So this is why I hate the finish. It, all of that raised is unintentional. In the corner, it started cracking because I didn't finish it right. And embarrassingly, I got to take a hammer to these knobs because I super glued them on. Tip, don't super glue your drawer knobs on. <laughs> Just don't buy new knobs. Bye bye. And just gonna pop off these keyholes and save them for later. So there are a few ways you can refinish a previously painted piece of furniture. One, you can do what I'm doing right now, which is taking an electric sander with a 120 grit sanding pad and removing most of the finish. Two, you can use a paint stripper, such as citrus strip, let it sit, then scrape it all off to the bare wood. And third, if you know how the piece was previously finished and it was done so properly, you can just do a scuff sand and go ahead and paint over it but if the top coat was a wax finish, you're definitely gonna need to take mineral spirits and get all of that wax off before you even start painting because paint won't stick to wax. Now that I have my piece sanded and I already went ahead and cleaned it all up with mineral spirits, I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit overnight so the mineral spirits has time to evaporate and we'll be back tomorrow. And we're back the next day. So right now I'm using Paint Couture's Sure Prep Bonding Primer to put down my first coat of primer right here. And always do a scratch test after your first coat of primer to make sure it adhere properly. Okay, so I got my first coat of primer on with the Paint Couture's Sure Prep Blocking Primer. And it's still drying, but already I can tell all of the really, really bad tan and bleed through. Definitely gonna need a second coat of primer because I am gonna be painting this white and I am not taking any chances, especially when it comes to white for bleed throughs. So instead of using the Sure Prep Bonding Primer, the second coat I'm gonna be using the Paint Couture Sure Prep White Blocking Primer. And I haven't used this before, so I'm really excited. So once this dries, we're gonna go ahead and use this. Now this is the second coat of the primer I'm putting on. Now remember this is the white blocking primer and the first coat was the bonding primer. Now actually this piece I did with three coats of primer. I did my third coat with the white blocking because after the second coat I just was not comfortable enough that it was gonna keep all the tannins blocked. So I just, when in doubt, I primed it again because I just do not wanna mess around when it comes to white. And now for the white paint. So I'm gonna be using Arctic White by Paint Couture for the base color of this piece. And it took three coats of primer and three coats of white paint just to get the full coverage I needed. Next, I'm gonna be stenciling, and I'm using Paint Couture in Rich Gold Metallic. So I taped my stencil down with painter's tape, and I'm using this foam applicator thing. I don't know, I got it in the arts and crafts section in Walmart. And I dipped it in paint, and now I'm just pouncing and pouncing it all over the stencil to get it into all the nooks and crannies, and it worked beautifully for this. Next is dry brushing. So you're gonna need chip brushes, one inch to three inches. Okay, your black paint, and I'm using Paint Couture in Baltic Black. And last but not least, 
a whole roll of shop towels. Dry brushing is a really easy concept. So you just get a little bit of paint on your brush and use a shop towel to wipe away as much as you can. And just very carefully go in and I'm doing the edging on the whole project here. Now you can dry brush the whole piece if you want. You can do a lot of different things with dry brushing. Now if you go and take a look at my channel, under the Extreme Buffet Makeover, I do an extensive detail on how I do all this edging with the dry brush technique. And now let's finish this off with an amazing top coat. So I'm using Paint Couture Top Coat in Satin. And you're gonna need a bowl, these little plastic bowls, I love them. And your blue painting sponge. Make sure you stir and never shake a top coat. Now you can wet these blue sponges Personally, I don't wet them. I like them dry. It's up to you. It's all preference. So I just put a little bit on there that you saw and I'm just going in a straight line with the top coat from top to bottom and overlapping a little bit after every line. And I could not be more happier with the outcome of this. It's super simple, classy, chic. I'm glad I got rid of those old knobs and put on these new black diamond ones with just the small stencil. And look, totally flat surface and it's all fixed. I love it. And thanks again guys for tuning in. All the Paint Couture products I used in this video is available to buy online and all the links are in the description. So thanks again guys and I will catch you on the next video.